Welcome back to the class on a HVDC transmission system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the how we are going to control the HVDC system. We know that in HVDC system there is a rectifier station as well as an inverter station is there. So to control the both stations, we are following the control hierarchy. The control hierarchy is consisting of system control, master control, pole 1 control and pole 2 control. Pole 1 control is nothing but a rectifier station, pole 2 control is nothing but a inverter station. Again under the pole 1 control VGC 1, VGC 2. VGC is nothing but a valve group control. The master control is requiring some information to generate a current reference. The first one is the P reference, nothing but how much real power we have to transmit on the DC line. Next, the reference AC voltage and reference DC voltage, those information will be supplied by the system control to the master control. The master control will be generating the I reference to the both pole stations. Based upon the I reference, the pole stations will be giving a command to the firing angle to the group of valves in a station 1 as well as a station 2. The VGC, nothing but a valve group control, is not only giving a firing pass to the valve, it also has to take into consideration of the firing logic through the optical sensor. Nothing but a, what are the firing angle which is generated by this one, that will be transmitted to the device through the optical fiber. Second one is the valve monitoring system. Valve monitoring system is nothing but a, whether the valve is working properly or not, or if it is damaged, that information also will be taken into consideration of the VGC. Valve protection system, nothing but to protect the wall, we are using a some amount of hardware circuit along with the wall. That also will be taken into consideration of the, this VGC. Next, communication failure protection. Sometimes there is a communication will be failure between the rectifier station to the inverter station as well as rectifier station to the rectifier station. That also will be taken into consideration of the wall group control. Bypass pair selection logic. Next, tap changer control. The transformer is giving a power to the rectifier station as well as inverter station. The tap changing, how much AC voltage is required, depending upon that, we have to keep the tap changing on the transformer. That also will be taken into consideration of the valve group control. Converter start and stop sequence. Whether we have to on the converter or off the converter, that also will be taken into consideration of the VGC. Next, margin sequence. The block diagram for the pole and converter control. This block diagram is consisting of two loops. One is the gamma control loop, another one is the current control loop. The gamma control loop is consisting of gamma measurement circuit. How much gamma angle we are maintaining in the rectifier station that we are measuring. The Whenever you are giving this gamma to the delay circuit, suppose if we take the gamma is 15 degrees, the gamma angle is not suddenly changed from 0 to 15 degrees. So, when we are giving to the delay circuit, the gamma angle will be slowly changed from 0 to the 15 degrees. That value have taken the reference. Suppose any disturbance is there, that also we are adding this one. So, this is the gamma reference. So, these two values from these two values, we are subtracting this one that we are given to the gamma control. The output of the gamma control is given to the selector. The one more input is there for the selector that is the DC link current. This is the ID reference, this is the actual DC link current. So, the difference between these two is given to the ID controller. The output of the ID controller is given to the selector. The selector will be selecting a low value of the firing angle depending upon the gamma control and this current control. Here the switch is there. Suppose if we want to generate a firing angle to the inverter, then the switch will be closed so that I margin will be added to this one. So for this value, this I margin will be subtracted. That value will be given to the controller. So based upon this value, the gamma value will be generated to the inverter circuit. So thank you very much for watching this video.